Hello dear students, myself CMA Padmaja Buzruk. I will discuss accounts of joint stock companies. Please go to study note number 1, accounting of shares and debentures. I will discuss illustrations on issue of shares and sweat equity shares. Please go to illustration 18. MG Limited was registered on 1st Jan 2017 with an authorized capital of rupees 3 lakhs divided into 30,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. During the next 12 months to 31st November 17, following events occurred which related to the share capital of company. On 1st Jan 17, the company offered for subscription 10,000 equity shares at a price of rupees 19 each to be paid as follows at the date of issue including premium rupees 10 that is on application rupees 10 on allotment rupees 4 and on first and final call rupees 5 registered authorized or nominal capital is 30,000 out of that 10,000 shares are offered for public subscription so all your journal entries to be taking taking into consideration 10,000 number of equity shares face value is rupees 10 and issue price is 19 so 19 minus 10 9 rupees is securities premium application money is rupees 10 which includes premium so breakup of application money is 1 plus 9 1 would go to capital and 9 would go to securities premium account on 30th june 17 the company made right issue on one for two basis at rupees 22.50 per share payable in full on 10th july 17 so company has made rights issue and the ratio is 2 is to 1 only 80 percent of issue was subscribed for by the shareholders with a payment being made on the due date so company has made right issue ratio is 2 is to 1 10,000 shares are issued so 5,000 right shares are offered and only 80% of the right issue was subscribed so 80% of 5,000, 4,000 shares are subscribed on 30th November 17 company decided to make a bonus issue of shares at par by utilizing entire balance of securities premium account so company has decided to issue bonus shares and bonus shares are issued using the entire balance complete balance full balance which is in the credit of securities premium account prepare equity share capital account and securities premium account of the company for the year ended 31st December 17 a shareholder who had subscribed initially for 140 shares had subsequently taken up 80% of right issue and then received bonus shares to which he was entitled calculate ultimate number of shares owned by him and total price paid by him for those shares so in this question they have asked you to prepare ledger accounts share capital account and securities premium account it is better to pass journal entries before preparation of ledger accounts so it will be easy for you to understand and then one person who had subscribed for 140 shares he has taken up right issue 80 percent which was offered to him he has taken up and then he has received bonus shares so you have been asked to calculate total number of shares he is having and what is the price paid by him for these shares on 1 1 17 10 thousand shares are issued at 19 9 rupees is premium on application 10 rupees 1 plus 9 allotment 4 first and final call 5 1 plus 4 plus 5 10 rupees would go to capital and 9 is securities premium 10,000 shares are issued, 10,000 into 10, 1 lakh would go to share capital and 10,000 into 9, 90,000 would go to securities premium account. Now first we will see these journal entries for issue of shares. 
Bank account debit to equity share application account. 10,000 shares are issued at 10. So it is 1 lakh. Equity share application account debit 1 lakh to equity share capital 10,000 to securities premium 90,000. Just now we have seen 1 plus 9, 1 would go to capital, 9 would go to securities premium. 10,000 into 1 and 10,000 into 9. Next is allotment money due. Equity share allotment account debit to equity share capital 40,000, 10,000 into 4. Bank account debit to equity share allotment 40,000. Equity share first and final call due. Equity share first and final call account debit to equity share capital 10,000 into 5 and bank to equity share first and final call. They have asked you to prepare ledger accounts, equity, share capital account and securities premium account. So in equity share capital account you will have on the credit side buy equity share application 10,000 then buy equity share allotment 40,000 and buy equity share first and final call 50,000. 10,000 to the credit of share capital account. 40,000 and 50,000 to the credit of share capital account and on securities premium account credit side by equity share application 90,000. Then they have issued right share on 30 June 13 in the ratio 2 is to 1. So for 10,000 shares 5,000 right shares are offered but actually 80% were subscribed so 80% of 5,000, 4,000 right shares are subscribed at 22 rupees 50 paisa. Face value of equity share is 10. So 4,000 into 10, 40,000 would go to share capital and 4,000 into 12.50 would go to securities premium account. So total amount in securities premium is 90,000 plus 50,000, 1 lakh 40,000. 10,000 shares are issued at rupees 9 premium, so 90,000. And these 50,000, total 1 lakh 40,000 is in securities premium account. Bonus shares are issued using entire securities premium account. 1 lakh 40,000 is used for issuing bonus shares. Face value of each share is rupees 10. So 14,000 bonus shares at rupees 10 are issued. Now this is the entry for right shares. Bank account debit to equity share capital to securities premium. 4,000 right shares are issued at 22 rupees 50 paisa per share. Bank account debit 4,000 into 22.50 to equity share capital account 4,000 into 10 to securities premium account 4,000 into 12 rupees 50 paisa. Now equity share capital account credit side by bank 40,000 and securities premium account credit side by bank 50,000. Now this entry is for issue of bonus shares. They have used entire securities premium account for bonus shares. Securities premium debit 1,40,000 to bonus to shareholders 1,40,000. Bonus to shareholders account debit 1,40,000 to equity share capital account 1,40,000. Bonus shares are issued using entire amount in securities premium account which is 1,40,000. So 14,000 bonus shares are issued at rupees 10. Originally company has issued 10,000 shares. Then 4,000 right shares are issued. So total number of shares are 14,000. And bonus shares issued are also 14,000. So ratio of bonus is 1 is to 1. See equity share capital account. This is what they have asked you to prepare by share application, by share allotment, by share first and final call, by bank rights issue and by bonus to shareholders account. We have seen all the journal entries. Balancing figure is 2, balance carried down.
securities premium account by share application by bank entire balance is used for issuing bonus to bonus to shareholders now one more question was asked one shareholder initially he was having 140 shares he has taken up 80% right issue right offered is 2 is to 1 so for 140 shares half of that 70 right shares were offered to him but he has taken 80% of 70 which is 56 shares so total number of shares after rights issue which he was having is 140 plus 56 196 shares bonus is in the ratio of 1 is to 1 just now we have seen this so 196 bonus shares are issued to him total number of shares which he has after bonus is 196 plus 196 392 shares now we have to find out what is the price paid by him for these shares for initial 140 shares he has paid 19 rupees per share 140 into 19 2660 then for 56 right shares he has paid 22 rupees 50 paisa per share so totally he has paid 56 into 22 rupees 50 paisa is rupees 1260 bonus shares are free of cost for 196 bonus shares nothing has been paid zero so total amount paid by him is 3920 which is nothing but 2660 plus 1260 now we'll see issue of sweat equity shares sweat equity shares means shares issued to directors or to employees these shares can be issued at discount these can be issued for non cash consideration for providing technical knowledge actually as per section 53 of companies act 2013 company cannot issue shares at discount but sweat equity shares can be issued at discount now we'll go through section 54 a company may issue sweat equity shares of a class of shares already issued if following conditions are fulfilled so for the purpose of issuing sweat equity shares it is necessary that sweat equity shares are those class of shares which already company has issued condition first is issue is authorized by special resolution passed by the company second condition the resolution specifies the number of shares the current market price consideration if any and the class or classes of directors or employees to whom such equity shares are to be issued third condition not less than 1 year has at the date of such issue elapsed since the date on which the company had commenced the business so in short i will let you know these three conditions first condition is special resolution is required to be passed for issue of sweat equity shares second condition is this resolution contains number of sweat equity shares issued consideration for these shares current market price of these shares and to whom these shares are offered and third condition specifies such shares are to be issued only one year after commencement of the business and most important thing is these shares sweat equity shares are of a class of shares which company has already issued now fourth condition as per section 54 where the sweat equity shares of company are listed on a recognized stock exchange the sweat equity shares are issued in accordance with the regulations made by securities and exchange board in this behalf and if they are not so listed the sweat equity shares are issued in accordance with such rules as may be prescribed so in short what is given here in case of listed companies sweat equity shares are to be issued as per sebi regulations and for non listed companies they are to be issued in accordance with the rules made by the company the rights limitations restrictions and provisions are as are for time being applicable to equity share 
shares shall be applicable to sweat equity shares issued under this section and the holders of such shares shall rank pari passu with other equity shareholders pari passu means equal rights on equal footings so what is given in the next paragraph is sweat equity shareholders have equal rights which other equity shareholders enjoy accounting treatment where sweat equity shares are issued for a non cash consideration such non cash consideration shall be treated in the following manner in the books of accounts of company first where the non cash consideration takes the form of depreciable or amortizable asset it shall be carried to the balance sheet of the company in accordance with relevant accounting standards if sweat equity shares are issued for non cash consideration that means cash is not received but from the employee or director to whom shares are issued a depreciable or amortizable asset is received by company then in that case it is to be shown in balance sheet in accordance with relevant accounting standard accounting standard which is applicable to those asset depending upon whether it is tangible fixed asset or intangible asset where clause a is not applicable it shall be expensed as provided in relevant accounting standard now if any tangible or intangible asset is not provided then in that case this is to be expensed off if shares are issued and no consideration is received in the form of asset then it is to be expensed off we'll see one question tinku limited allotted 500 sweat equity shares of 100 each to its directors at a discount of 6% face value is 100 discount is 6% that means discount amount is rupees 6 so amount received on each equity share is 100 minus 694 here per share company has received 94 rupees shares are issued at discount bank account debit 500 into 94 47000 discount on issue of shares account debit 500 into 6 3000 to equity share capital account 50000 500 into 100 allotment of 500 sweat equity shares of 100 each to directors at a discount of 6% balance amount that is 94 per share is duly received second case 800 sweat equity shares of 100 allotted to employees at par in consideration of technical know how so that means nothing has been received from these employees these shares are issued to employees because they have provided some technical knowledge so it is this technical know how account is to be debited and share capital account is to be credited and technical know how is to be shown on the asset side of balance sheet it is to be amortized over future years as decided by management so we'll see journal entry technical know how account debit 80000 800 in 200 to equity share capital account 80000 being allotment of 800 sweat equity shares of 100 each to employees at par in consideration of technical know how in this particular video i have discussed one illustration on issue of bonus shares sweat equity shares and two examples on sweat equity shares thank you